What's going on guys? In today's video, I want to share with you a little bit of a glitch play that you can actually add to our Gun Bunge Offensive Guide. Um, this is a very, very glitchy play. I personally didn't find it. I know that several people have posted this video in the YouTube community, but I wanted, to, um, I wanted to post it because I wanted to show you that you can add this into uh, an already lethal offense out of the Carolina playbook. So I'm in the Carolina Offensive Playbook. You don't need Escape Artist, but Escape Artist makes this like overpowered. Um, so I'm just going to break this down for you. It's, it's basically a, a quarterback scramble glitch um, that you can use. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to the bunch halfback strong and we're going to put the RPO zone peak into our audibles. Um, now what's really cool about the Carolina playbook is that it has um, it also has this tight slots halfback weak. So what we can do is we can put the RPO zone peak in there. Um, we have this four verticals concept as well that is really really effective uh we have mesh spot a couple little different things that we could do out of this formation that is really really good so um you could audible kind of around a little bit there's a lot that you can do in carolina this year um with them adding the empty bunch the bunch wide flex and of course having this rpo out of the bunch halfback strong so that being said guys if you want to get my full gun bunch offensive guide i'm going to leave a link to that down in the description of this video um, it's the best offense in the entire game in my personal opinion. It gives you the most amount of just absolute bombs, but it also gives you dots that you can use against any defense as well as some of the best running concepts in the game. So if you want to get the full gun bunch offensive guide, there's a link in the description of this video. You just click that link. It'll take you over and you can get that offensive guide. So what we're going to do is we're just going to come out in any play out of gun bunch, whatever we want to do guys, whatever you want to call, it's no big deal. You call whatever you can call verticals. You can call double post, PA dick fork, any of these plays you can call. And then on defense, honestly, we're just going to come out in random. I don't want to just come out in three, three, five odd. We're just going to come out in any nickel defense. And I just want to show you, cause you know, you can get three, three, five wide, you can get three, three, five odd, you can get all kinds of stuff. So what we're going to do here is we are just going to go ahead and audible over to the RPO zone peak. And the only adjustment that I'm going to make is I'm actually going to double team this backside defensive end. And then I'm going to motion that flat route to the right side and kind of snap it just like that. And what you're going to see here is with Kyler Murray, I can take off and be, I mean, absolutely lethal with this thing. This thing is impossible, in my opinion, right now to stop in regs. It's really the hardest play. Uh, I, I haven't seen anybody be able to stop this in regs yet. Um, because you have escape artists, escape artists will be coming to much shortly. I'm sure we'll get one by the end of the week, maybe, maybe in two weeks, but you'll see right here. See how that contain doesn't contain. They had a free runner off the edge against them and it's not going to be able to contain. Now that being said, I did want to go ahead and give you one adjustment. If you guys are watching this video that can help a little bit and that's to pass commit. So I'm going to blitz that slot corner, put them in a contain and I'm going to pass commit. And I just want to show you kind of what's going to happen. Um, and like I said, it's not 100% consistent that that's going to stop it, but you will see this is going to give you probably the best chance blitzing your slot corner, um, which you'll see here. See how he contains me? So that's pretty decent. But if you if you come back and look, the other thing that's really cool about this play is that it has a quick slant. So for example, let's say that I'm in let's say that I'm in three three five wide, and let's say that I'm you know going to do that concept where we just blitz that that additional corner. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put him in a blitz, you know, and contain off the edge. And obviously their user is going to be kind of over in here. And what you're going to see happen is because we because we went ahead and pass committed, when we throw this ball, we can easily just throw that slant right there easily. If we see someone out there that's going to defend us, we can easily just check down to the slant. So I just wanted to share this concept with you. I know a couple of people have posted it already, but I just wanted to show this because, and the main reason why is because it really is overpowered, man. Like there's just nothing you can do. You get a really good block. If you want to leave that flat out there, you certainly can. Um, you don't have to motion him over. I just like to because I think it gives me better blocking. But in an event where they basically are going to, you know, run commit or, you know, maybe they do something to try to stop this play, you can easily just throw the ball to the flat. And as you can see right there, you know, that's that's one of the beauties of this play is it has really good concepts within it, not just from a run perspective, but from a passing perspective as well. So it doesn't really matter if you pass commit, in my opinion, you're gonna really give up a lot of yards. If, the, if someone knows what they're doing, the other thing is you can smart route that left side receiver. So if you wanna run him on a streak, you certainly can. But you take a look here, you got that flat as your lead blocker. And I mean, it's just really hard to stop this play guys. So thanks for watching the video. I just wanted to get this out and share this with you. I know a couple people have posted this, but this really to me makes the Carolina playbook one of the better playbooks in the game right now because um, it obviously it has a great gun bunch, 
And then as you see here, you know, and you, I found that I don't really fumble a lot with this. So if I run with a conservative quarterback, um, I'm typically in a really good position. So that being said, guys, I just wanted to get this out. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to get my Gun Bunch Offensive Guide, I'm going to put a link to that in the description of this video. I think it's the best offense in the game right now. Uh, pretty hard to argue with the results. And when you add in some of these elements from these other formations, whether it's in Carolina or Seattle or whatever we want to run, because in the Gun Bunch Guide, we don't just give it to you from Carolina. We give it to you from Carolina, Washington, Seattle, Miami, all of the Gun Bunches all together. So if you want to get access to those offensive schemes, uh, again, all you got to do is just click that link in the description. Go pick up the guide. Um, there's a link to my website. You can get that offensive guide for just 15 bucks. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you start trying to use this. I'm sure they're going to patch this soon. But uh, as of right now, it's really, really hard to get a stop in regs. And this makes it about a thousand times harder. Thanks for watching the video.